Alright, so. Right. The unusual roller coaster. Literally, it is the unusual roller coaster. I'm not joking. Um, so, many of you have asked me, what is it? What could it be? Um, what, what, what? Yeah, you know, just just what? That's that's the only word I read, and I was like, no, clicked off. Um, so, the unusual roller coaster I'm going to talk about is formerly known as X No Way Out, or typically formerly known before X. Um, but it's currently known as The Walking Dead The Ride at Fort Park Resort. Okay, so, where to start with this ride? Uh, for, so, formerly, formerly known, so its first generation was named X. And um, X was a shuttle coaster, meaning it went back, well, it went forwards. And then, it wasn't quite like a shuttle coaster, though, because it didn't go back first. It was like a, I don't know. I think it's like a boomerang coaster because you got to an end point and then it went back. But it was in like it was an indoor roller coaster. It was the first of its kind, and it literally contained so much rave music and so much rave lights. Literally, there was no way you can look where you didn't see strobe lighting or lasers or just like normal, normal studio lighting that just spun round and everything. It was a proper rave in there. Um, even the outdoors even had that frame, that blue frame that said X on it. And it was so good. And at that point, it was like, up to 2013, it was amazing. It looked so cool. Um, it was recently published as a secret weapon thing. Not, not Alton Towers secret weapon, no. It was like a secret base where the helicopters used to go over and they found some sort of, they found some sort of secret power in there. Um, but yeah, that was like 1980s. So that was their first ever major roller coaster they had before they had big stuff like Stealth, Nemesis, Inferno, um, Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave's not a roller coaster. Sad of me. Um, so yeah. Now, after it's after it being called X until 2013, Fort Park made a decision to put the ride as a full coaster, not a reversed shuttle coaster, or whatever you call it, a boomerang coaster. So, um, it then got rethemed to a fully circuit coaster, and it was called X No Way Out. X dot backslash No Way Out. Um, now, this was 2013 to 2017, and its coaster had at least a thousand people per hour which was amazing because having that many people in one ride is just significantly cool compared to the smile at fort park yeah you know um and its dimensions were the exact same throughout because it is you know it's in a box but it was 131.3 feet and um it has a 196.8 foot drop I think I've got that wrong. I think the width's 131. Yeah, no. The width's 131 and the length's 196.8 feet. Um, and its designer was Peter Klecks. I have no clue who that is. Um, but it was a... It, it was a manufacturer. It wasn't very prone to the UK, I don't think, anyways. But it was one of its first kind and... After it completing its whole cir circuit, it had that really cool rave music to it. It also had the Fort Park music because it was 2013. And it went da 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 That one. Um, but yeah, X No Way Out. I think I've got that terribly wrong. Right, so... Forget what I said about X being the first generation. It was X No Way Out being the first generation, which had like the 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 boomerang thing. Um, X No Way, uh, no X. It just then got rethemed to X, the second generation, um, which is 2013 to 2017. Sorry for the confusion. So it went X No Way Out, X to then to then just X to then Walking Dead of the Ride. Now the trains on it. All these coasters were the coma. Now the, the coma coasters are really cool, but an indoor roller coaster was a really big challenge for them at the time, because having an indoor roller coaster, you had to work around a particular space 
um, not using all the air, it had to be small and it had to be in the dimensions of the building. Which again is a really hard design of trying to fit in everything. But luckily the building was big enough for this ride. Now, the length was 1,312 feet for the track. And the height of the track was 41.7 foot, okay? Feet, foot, same thing. Um, and it had a top speed of 27.7 miles per hour. That's like going down this road like 7 miles per hour more than what you're meant to. Um, it had zero inversions because it's an indoor roller coaster. Yet again, there could be inversions on an indoor roller coaster, but Fort Park was like, at the time it was built, it was like, no, because it was their first major coaster and they wanted it to fit everyone. Apparently, it didn't work all that. Um, and it had a duration of two minutes dead on, which is quite cool. But yet again, I liked how they all had two minutes and I. I don't know, I think X had a shorter time because it was backwards, but probably, I don't know, probably the first half of X was the exact same as the second half of X, I mean, it makes it that two, one minute, one minute either side, but, you know, who knows. Um, now, it had five trains uh, with five people in it, which was amazing, but yet again, how the hell do you get, like, I thought each train had, like, two people, which is quite weird. Um, but yeah, why does we arrange it two across a single row? So yeah, again, there could be six, but... Five trains with five cars. I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah, then we get to Fort Park's uh, Walking Dead The Ride. Now, Walking Dead The Ride was 2013 to present. This is because Walking Dead was like a franchise. I'm at... I'm at, you're at, I'm going to get this, no I'm not, where are you at, hmm, Kingdom Island, actually I'm going to where you are, I'm at K-I, what, okay, so then we go to, 2013 to present day, so 2023, it's 10 years old, um, Walking Dead of the Ride, now this was insignorated, could I say insignorated, uh, could I say this, this was brought by the fact that Walking Dead at the time was a thing, and, well, it was a thing until 10 years later, where it's no longer a thing, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen, um, yeah, it was, Walking Dead the Ride, and Walking Dead the Ride literally had a good theming to it, just about, apart from the outside. The outside really upset me, because all they did is they stuck a safe zone and said, this is a tower, and this tower had nothing to do with it, with at the back, so literally as a tower, like an old tower, and then at the back you have the pyramid shape, because the box... The box that uh, lies the roller coaster was just a pyramid with blue in it. And they didn't bother to theme it, or they didn't bother to paint it, which is quite bad. Yeah, again, could be a possibility that X might be coming back, because, you know, that's how stuff is. Um, so, Walking Dead the Ride is a good ride, to be fair. I still prefer X No Way Out, but, you know, it, it's a thing that happens, and we can't change it. Unless somebody comes along and goes, I want to invest in X. Not Walking Dead, which is no longer going to... Yeah. Um, now, the theming around Walking Dead the Ride was a lot more themed than X, because X had nothing to it. It only had that doorway frame before you actually go inside the ride. But X, you had... No, Walking Dead the Ride, you had a motorbike before you actually went into the entrance, which said Walking Dead the Ride. Um, then you've got also live actors inside, because they did it for Fright Nights. It's probably coming back this year. Who knows? It's probably trailers again. Oh, superstar trailers, superstar cinema. Um, and but when you go in, you've got this pre-show. So when you actually go into the ride, well, not quite in the ride yet, it's a very long walk. But you go in and then you have this pre-show, well, most times, unless you're at, like, fight nights and they let you in and, you know, they let you wait inside the ride queuing area, which I think is significantly bad, because what's the point in the queue, like, what's the point in the pre-show before you actually go into Walking Dead the Ride, um, but yeah, you got this pre-show, and it gives us what has happened in the park, and what zombies, and yeah, that outbreak, and then you go through, and it's like, 
loud noises and doors doors are meant to be open by the way by actors but apparently they don't do that anymore even though it does say there may be live actors inside go in there and yeah there's live actors definitely there's people waiting um but yeah no we got on it twice uh last year and the first time we had that pre-show and then the second time it was like no just walk on and you know just wait until your turn we had to listen to a car noise, like a car horn, for the whole thing until we actually got into the queue line because we were stuck at that point. We got up the stairs, so there's like two levels. You go up, and it's like a, it's like a platform thing, <laughs> like Donkey Kong's platform thing, um, and then you go up again, and then you've got like a bunch of lights. You've got like a car crashing inside, which is really cool. I do like it, but yet again, X was still better. It was dark, X was. Not saying Walking Dead isn't dark, but it's got that, it's loud noises, and there's people talking to you, but you don't know who they are. Now, when you get onto the ride, it also has a good theming to it, because I like the bit where you get to the midway point, and then it stops and starts, the ride just goes back and forward, because it's like you're in a, it's like you're in a car, and they're trying to turn on the bus, that's like the second half, it's like the bus, and you're basically now the bus, because there's a bunch of zombies on your right they're trying to get in, and you just see them just all trying to crawl and get into your bus. Um, and then, I, I don't know who it is, whoever the main actor is for Walking Dead, I don't know who it is. But he tries to start the car, and then it, eventually it works. And then you go through the second half of the ride whilst the other car is coming out. Um, and then you go to the station, and it's like two stations. And then you come out of the station, and you have more of a walking distance. Because, yet again, it's a walking distance ride. Um... It's probably not a walking distance ride, it's so long. And you go through and you've got these loud noises again and you've got to see the car that says X N W O X N W O mean X No Way Out. It's former it's former name, it's former theming. Uh, it was on one of the cars that you could see. It's in a number plate on one of the cars before you X well, where's you exit? You should just see this car bit. Um but yeah the theming X no uh, for Walking Dead the Ride is so amazing. I love the roller coaster, it's been the same as X No Way Out, but you know, it, it's still a roller coaster that's still there today, and it stands there as the first indoor roller coaster, and it's probably the first themed roller coaster, but I'm not quite sure about that. It is enclosed, as I've already said, and its model could be, well, it was Enigma, and now it's Vacoma, because, you know, it makes Vacoma, it is isn't a Vacoma Enigma, but yeah, it's a steel roller coaster. I'm just reading stuff the roller coaster database at this point. Uh, it's sit down, family. Most of my stuff has been not off this roller coaster database. I have done it from memory. Um, and it's a booster wheel lift hill, meaning it uses wheels just to go up and up and up and up and until you reach like 41.7 feet. But um, yeah, how, what are your thoughts on Walking Dead the ride? Do you like the ride? Do you think X No Out was better? Um, please do tell me down in the comments below. And um, please use subscribe, follow me. Why am I saying subscribe? I'm not, on, I'm not on YouTube. Oh, I am. But yeah, subscribe, follow me, like me, whatever. Talk to me, I don't know. But yeah, bye guys. I cannot, I cannot end the stream. Oh.